everyone, I am Matteo Collina and today I'm going to talk to you about the new Fastify v3 release. Just before you start, take a moment to follow us on Twitter at Fastify.js or follow me at Matteo Collina for updates on Fastify, uh, Node.js and so on and so forth. So uh, let's jump into our uh, in, into our new release. The first thing that you can you can you can do with Fastify v3 is to swap the middleware engine. Fastify, as you always had a compatibility layer for um, the uh, Connect style middleware. Now, in Fastify v3, you can actually swap that swap the internal system that we normally what we used to have in the previous release for example with for example express or you know even what you want and it's actually very very powerful and it enables you to use um, even a passport which is a fantastic authentication uh, solution for uh, for express that you can use as is with uh, fastify and fastify express uh, the, if you like the previous uh, middleware engine, you can still use it and it's just an npm install away, which is pretty great, right? Uh, we also have completely rewritten and overhauled the whole TypeScript, uh, the whole TypeScript uh, interfaces, as well as all the types that you can find in, in, uh, in the project. This is the these was, were written to simplify the usage and remove most of the um, uh, most of the boilerplate that is normally needed, even if you don't need things. And it, it simplifies the development of uh, Fastify application with TypeScript quite a lot. Um, there is a, there have been a lot of minor improvements that. Uh, but they're all driven by a few principles that have been uh, depicted by Ethan in his talk, Applied TypeScript Definition Patterns at OpenJS World. And it explains all the things about these new types. Note that also the types has been, has been tested uh, using this tool called TSD, which makes the types easier to maintain over time, which is pretty great, I would say. So, uh, in the end, uh, the, the last bit I want to talk to you about is the simplified schema validation. Um, we have removed uh, a few features from Fastify, which is uh, the, uh, the schema resolver. And this is because it's uh, we, we will only use a dollar ref for uh, handling reference from now on. In, uh, we did this to to greatly simplify our code and um, our code in Fastify because it had that system had so many bugs over the course of the V2 release that it was very hard for us to keep maintaining it. So we essentially we removed it for something that is uh, standard compatible with JSON schema as well as uh, more robust. So yay, check it out. Uh, last but not least, there is a lot of other changes that are December major in nature and really important. We have changed the pre-parsing hook, the on root and on register behavior. There are changes a little bit which make doing certain things easier and other things maybe a little bit harder. So check them out. Uh, the content time parser syntax was changed. Uh, we have deprecated a few things that were there to be deprecated for a long time and then uh, remove some old options, add the new options, add the, the sync await supports and, and so on and so forth. Like a lot of interesting things that you will want to check out. So uh, in the end, I just wanted to say thank you and thank you for checking out Fastify. Uh, remember to follow us on Twitter and bye bye.